Welcome to Canada Social Changemakers. My name is Justin Douglas, and today we're here with Natalie Brunet, owner of the Omada Agency and co-owner of Hitchwood Productions, to discuss her 20 plus years behind the scenes in the Quebec entertainment industry. Welcome Natalie, thank you so much for being here. It's an absolute pleasure. Uh, to get started, why don't you just tell us a little bit about the Omada Agency and what it is. Sure, the uh, Omada Agency is an agency that I founded um, 20 some what years ago. Um, and uh, it's an agency representing mostly people behind the camera. And so what was the journey like for you to become uh, the owner of this agency? It was a um, um, perchance journey, I would say. Um, a very good friend of mine, a lawyer practicing in Montreal, uh, phoned me up. I was working in Toronto at the time. Um, and uh, phoned me up and said, you know what, I have this wonderful opportunity. I think you would be uh, uh, perfect uh, for that. And I said, sure, what is, it? what is it? And he said, well, being an agent. Um, uh, and I said, what does an agent do? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But this, one was, uh, this was a, a very close friend of mine. So he said, you know, you would be perfect for that. So I came down to Montreal, met with this uh, wonderful person, Suzanne Vachon, um, and fell in love with the possibilities that this um, uh, job uh, could bring me. And I said, fine. I moved from Toronto to Montreal and just to start this wonderful journey um, and expanded the business and decided just this was my passion. And that exactly was what I was looking for. So that's basically uh, how 20, uh, 20 years ago I, I decided to ju jump in and, and learn everything about this business, negotiating and uh, selling, um, representing clients. Which you've done very successfully at this point because it's been over 20 years now that you've mentioned. Uh, and you are representing some of Canada and Quebec's premier behind the scenes talent in all kinds of projects, which is very exciting. But another thing that you do is called Hitchwood Productions. Yes. So do you want to talk about Hitchwood a little bit? Sure, certainly. Um, Hitchwood was actually born out of the feeling that after 20 somewhat years um, living from this wonderful industry that is the film and TV industry in Quebec, I wanted to give or to use all the knowledge that I uh, was able to uh, acquire over the years. And that knowledge, um, was acquired basically because representing people behind the camera um, gave me the chance to learn uh, a lot about how uh, things get prepared and how things work production-wise. Mm -hmm. So I said uh, the industry is, is subsidized. Um, I was lucky enough to to build my business uh, from TV and, and film being subsidized here in Quebec. and. Why not? Why not try to start something here uh, in Quebec um, that would be completely different from the system that we have right now? Hitchwood Film, uh, Hitchwood Productions actually is a company that is um, not subsidized. Oh wow! And uh, is try actually putting together film projects and TV projects in English only. Um, but all the projects, the company is being based here in Montreal. Wow. And the uh, intention is to produce here, out of Montreal, in English, for the international market, without touching the subsidies, because we need those subsidies. We need them to, s to stay. We need them to grow. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and so uh, starting up a, another company, trying to get, you know, trying to um, grab a, a, a part, an additional part of subsidies was not a, a good idea. Right. So we decided to, um, to take a, a big plunge and try to, to, to see if, if that kind of a production uh, company house based in Montreal would work. And it's very unique because there's nothing else that exists like that in Montreal. To our knowledge, no. 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 Um, you have um, um, production companies who do mostly TV uh, in English. Mm -hmm. so you have um, um, at least two different companies doing that. Already. Mm -hmm. But doing film, um, not to my knowledge. No. no, and it opens the possibility to so many projects being produced and filmed in Montreal and across Canada in general. So that is a very exciting prospect for someone like me who gets very excited when we get to tell our own stories and get to produce things in this country to sell to other places. So that makes me very, very excited. Uh, so what are some of the different projects and things that you've been working on lately? 
first, at the stage of development, we have uh, two film features uh, that are um, ready. Actually, already have uh, directors. And, Great. Um, we're in the process of uh, casting right now, so we should be able to announce the production fairly soon. Great. Within the next year or so. Oh, we, keeping we my hope. fingers crossed. Very excited. <laughs> yeah. We hope. We, it's been um, a long journey. We've worked very hard. Um, and this hasn't happened overnight. By course, any means, sure yeah, you know, yeah. I'm sure you know, so it's been many years in the making, but uh, we will be very happy to announce when, uh, when things are official. Great, and I will be cheering you on <laughs> as you. one of the very first people, without a doubt, for Thank sure. You. But you've had over, we've mentioned now, 20 years plus experience in the Quebec entertainment industry, so I'm curious to hear some of your thoughts, because uh, I know you also have connections in Toronto, in New York, in California, all over the place, so maybe just talk a little bit about your experience working in Quebec and what our industry is like? Sure. Our industry is fantastic, I have to say. Um, we have wonderfully talented people, a uh, prime example being that um, they um, often are asked to move to LA mm -hmm. to, uh, to continue and to work on bigger and bigger projects. Um, I think what makes Montreal or Quebec, uh, for that matter, a, a wonderful, wonderful uh, place to, um, to work in this industry is the mix of the American culture as well as the French mm -hmm. francophone culture. Mm -hmm. And um, that enabled all the wonderful artists here to, um, to, to work in a business environment with a touch of a very um, a, a lot of flair and a mm -hmm. lot of sensitive sensitivity. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what makes it very uh, very different. Yeah. Um, at the same time, Quebec is made of um, a lot of people who are not afraid to take risks, uh, mm -hmm. go getters as well. Um, so that's also very interest interesting to be surrounded by uh, by those people. Mm -hmm. um, 20 years ago when I started uh, officially um, uh, working in this business, I wanted to be able to bring to my clients the um, best opportunities possible. And some of the best opportunities were here in Quebec. Oh, wow. But a lot of them uh, also existed outside right. of Quebec. What, and I wanted to make sure that um, nobody could miss out on those. Um, and I decided to go territory by territory and try to find the best people for my clients to work with. Um, instead of me trying to cover the rest of Canada, for example, or the States, mm -hmm. I uh, decided to work together hand in hand with um, a very uh, managers in LA, agents in LA, as well as Toronto and um, in France. Oh, wow, um, great. That matter. Yes. Great. That's really cool because that's promoting our own artistry in a way that is not done in a lot of other jurisdictions, which is very cool. Thank we, you. we do very well in general, but there's always ways for us to improve. Mm -hmm. uh, so what do you think are some of the areas where we could support our artists or our artistry a little better? I think improvement comes with money, additional money, and yeah. fortunately um, uh, the economy right now is, is not our is not on our side all yeah. the time, uh, culture and for different um, different areas as well. Everybody is in a tight spot these mm -hmm. days. Mm -hmm. um, so improvement would um, pass, w you know, would, would come with money. More money means more opportunities for younger people to um, to have a, um, a chance to, to shoot and mm -hmm. to work um, and to bring money and to be able to, to make more films, for example. Right. Because if you're a director, if you shoot one film every five years, you're not in a position to learn as much mm -hmm. and to grow as much. So it's, I, I think money uh, yeah. would also always be the issue because the desire to be better, the desire to do things, um, the uh, knowledge is there mm -hmm. here in Quebec. We have that. We just need... Um, yeah. Encouragement. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think there's incredible talents here. Mm -hmm. I really do. I mean, it's, it's a special market here in a way because, as you mentioned, the French connection and, and people being able to look at francophone cinema from France, from other French-speaking countries and adopt that here, mm -hmm. and then also looking at English film and English 
productions and being able to incorporate that. So it gives it a unique perspective, uh, which maybe you could talk about a little bit more, your experiences working in a francophone environment with English productions and sort of what that's like. <laughs> um, challenging, but so interesting. So yeah. interesting, because you have a mix of two cultures, the American or the Canadian English culture, which is very much different from the uh, Quebec culture, mm -hmm. the French culture. Um, and, and I was born in the West Island, um, okay. so I like to say that I've been, um, I, I was very lucky to be exposed to both cultures from mm -hmm. a very young age, um, which enabled me to, to work in French and mm -hmm. to understand how uh, the French Quebec yeah. industry works and the references to culture, to French cinema, mm -hmm. which I grew up with, and the references to um, English Canada. Also, for that matter, I also worked in Toronto for uh, a few years. So I was able to, to understand, because it's not the same way um, yeah. doing business. Doing business in English Canada um, is the same as doing business in the States, mm -hmm. pretty much. It's, um, it's a business, um, very structured, whereas mm -hmm. in Quebec we're a little bit more artists. Yeah. So yeah. the mix of the two makes a wonderful combination. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> really, there are some characters in this province without, yes. without a doubt. Mm -hmm. uh, what advice would you have for younger people who want to get involved in the entertainment industry in Quebec? Um, just um, keep on believing. Um, work hard, um, stay true to your passion, mm -hmm. don't get discouraged and try to reach out, send, send the, your work all over, mm -hmm. knock on doors, um, eventually you'll get recognized and it will work. Right. There, are, there are periods, there are um, some years that uh, doing this is, is a lot more difficult. Mm -hmm. But you have to hang on. The industry has always been up and down. It's always been, and it's on waves. And, mm -hmm. um, but just like Churchill said, when you're going through hell, keep going. So yeah. you just have to stay true to your passion and keep on believing. That's really good advice. <laughs> uh, last question for you today. Um, when we're talking about Toronto versus Montreal versus all these different jurisdictions, one of the things that's really important to me that I keep emphasizing in all these interviews is being able to tell Canadian stories and, mm -hmm. and to share our own stories. And I'm wondering if you have any insights on working in the English film industry of how we can bring Canadian stories to life but still make it financially viable on, on the international scene. If I did have the answer, I think we'd, we'd be rich. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'd be telling our own stories already. Yes. Yeah. I think it's, it's always a f um, telling stories in this industry. Um, you get to, to tell your story by chance. Mm -hmm. um, you tell your story, and if there's people or the time is right for your story to be heard, mm -hmm. then it will be heard. It doesn't mean that your story is not good mm -hmm. at the time that you're, you want to um, talk about it. Yeah. But this industry is a lot about timing. Yeah. Um, so if your timing is right, then everything will, will work mm -hmm. uh, right. But I can see right now that there's um, a big opening. Um, we can see from Quebec, a lot of directors um, mm -hmm. have had um, a uh, lot of appeal to the uh, for the uh, United States. Mm -hmm. So telling the story that they've been telling has has had um, actually the ear of the rest of the world a little bit more than than we used to. So I think we just have to keep on on doing this and and just keep on doing it that the way that the Quebec people. Uh, have always been used to um, to doing it, and the Americans as well, mm -hmm. uh, and the Canadian English Canadians. At this, at you know, a story is a story. Mm -hmm. and you have to touch people. Exactly. And it, it has to be the right time to tell that story. Yeah. Well, that's really great thoughts. Thank you so much for your insight today. For anyone who wants to get more information about Amada or Hitchwood Productions, you can find them online. So just Google them. You'll see their websites and all the information. There are some really cool projects coming down the pipe, so we'll be very excited to announce those in the near future. But in the meantime, thank you so very much for your time today. It's an absolute pleasure to get to speak with Canadians who are doing very interesting things and taking on a project 
like Omada and Hitchwood in a francophone market and really taking your artist to the next level is something that should be commended and it's been an absolute pleasure to speak with you today. Well, thank you for the invitation.